Now that I've shown you the dashboard, I'm going to show you how to add properties. So we click onto this section here, new property. So when there's a new property that you have to add, you be filling in the name of the vendor, etc. Right, the first name, second name, the address of the property. whatever the email ID is, etc. And so then again, in this section here, you'll be clicking on, so you'll be clicking on all these uh, documents, right? So once you have added this, once you've clicked on all these agreements, you click on submit. Basically what these agreements are, these agreements are the, the standard agreements right, which you're agreeing. Okay, so if you're to sell the property, whatever you add the property, whatever, these agreements are standard agreements which you're agreeing to making sure that they, that you're abiding with all the confidentiality agreements during that so that all the information is there then you submit this once you've submitted this i'm going to show you where it takes you on to the next page so i'm going to show you one that has already been done so if we look on the property list here so this agent has loaded up seven properties so if, let's say if we take this one for example so once you've added the property information, the first page, this will bring you up to this section here. So I'm gonna go through this section by section, bit by bit, what you need to know. So in this section here where we have property name, so the property name with, you'll be putting on here with it's a two bedroom house, three bedroom house, a one bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartment, etc. right? So this would be a pair, so if we click on here, it appears here, three bed house. So when you're putting your ad, that's what's gonna appear. So let's have a look here, deals. So this is what it appear. Four bed detached house, four bed house, three bed house with garage. So property name, so that's how your property name would be. In this section here, all the description about the property you'll be putting in here. And we want to see that. So there you go your property description would come here. So you'd be clicking on here if the property is sold, if it's under offer, it'll be on here. Then we come on to here property type. So if it's a residential property, but right, commercial property, a developer. So now the relevance of this is it de depends. Now let's say for example, it's a residential property. This is now, when it comes to the research documents, the research questions, they're gonna be different for those of a commercial property and those of a developer. So let me show you. So this is now on residential. So if we look at the research document, so it says document all things negative. Right, for similar property comparables, right, 30 points you should cover when researching a property, etc. So these are the questions here. So if we go back to the information, and if I now change this to developer, these are sort of questions that you'd be asking. So as you can see, the research questions are totally different. For commercial property, questions to ask for an estate and commercial agent so they bring you uh, the deals. These are similar to the, the residential. How are they different? Because this is now relevant to a commercial property. So now you understand why we need this so these sections you have the residential questions commercial questions developer questions now here you have whether it's you need to select if it's a residential property whether it's a flat house or any under this section the property potential what does the property have the potential to do so if you click on here you'll be able to select whether it's a home to live see so, or it could be have a buy to let so there may be multiple or single let etc so all these what the potential the property potential has so this property potential what it has so we'll be able to kind of match this up we'll be able to like uh, at least tell the investor that look this property has this potential so here we will be putting in the purchase price so the purchase price will also be part of the matching process right so again the property when we're looking at the property in terms of whatever the value is so then the invest, whatever the investor's requirements are, does it fit in the budget, the investor's budget? So as we can see for the location, so it's a city which is required 
uh, for the matching process and plus also the postcode. And so in this section here, we have the vendor details. We already have the vendor details, but what his name is, his numbers, the address details, etc. And so then we will be clicking on the save button. So that provides us with all the information of the property. So now let's get onto the research documents. So with the research documents, so everything that you need to know as part of your research it is here. So, you know, if you type in the full property postcode, you will check on Whitemove and Zoopla. So what is the highest price? What's the lowest price? Do you put those figures down here? So it's just quite straightforward. You just follow this. So any information you need to do, no. Right. So in this section here, you'll be looking at the similar property comparables of local properties for sale and sold prices on uh, right with the Zoopla. So again, you'll be putting on here like for like properties, free like for like properties in the area. The like sold properties that have been, so these are properties which have been marketed. These ones will be properties which have been sold. So here you're asking for you're asking for properties estate agents' opinions. If there's any other in, uh, additional information you need to know, so you can be putting it all down there. So you just click on uh, save, and that will take you on to the next section. Thirteen points you should always consider or cover when researching a property. So you've got all your you have your tips here. You have all the questions that you need to be asking, and so you can be putting all the information down here. Vendor consultation, vendor is a seller. See, these are the questions that you need to be asking the seller. So as you can see here, but you see all the questions up here. You just fill this in. You move on to the next section then, the um, property survey. So again, all the questions you need to be asking for. So it's all there, so you just go through this section by section. Uh, it's quite straightforward and you just fill this in. So this is, all the things that you need to do as part of the research. Any images of the property, so you take pictures, etc. You'll save them onto your laptop or wherever. Right. So then you'll be able to click onto this section here. As you click onto this section here, you'll be able to take go into the file and just click onto there. Or if you needed to, you could be taking that from where wherever it is, and you could drag them into right, uh, drag them into here as well. So it's quite straightforward. So as you can see, the images. There you go, so you've got images of the property there. Under this section here, the documents. If there's any documents that you need for the property, like for example, EPC certificates, right, you know, any, any electrical installation certificates, right, any receipts that have been done, any any uh, warranties for building works that have been done, right, you know, so you'll be able to kind of just put all those documents in this area here. So you have them all in one place. Under this section here, your local amenities, so you'll be able to kind of put in how far is the station by wall, how far is the station by car, how far what is the station by uh, the bus stops, etc. So you can you'll be able to fill all this in here as well. It's all straightforward. Then you click onto your submit button. Key features. Okay, so now these key features, right? How many bedrooms, right? You know, is a property. What is the size of the what is the sizes of the property? So now let's say for example, so this is a three bedroom property. So this is indicating three bedrooms. As we'll be able to kind of see here, it's three bedrooms, right? Now let's go back here. So if I was to, if I, let's say for example, a two bedroom property, so I would just uh, take this off here. If I take this off here now, if I click on submit, so the same thing here. So if, you, if how many showers has it got? So if you want to add, if there's more than one shower, you'd be adding. If it's not there, you'd be taking off. So here you have the sizes of, the bedrooms so it is x amount of square meters right whatever you see what the size is there you know if it's not got a conservatory you can then take this off if it's got a conservatory you can add to it right if it's got a driveway etc as well so you have all of these questions here quite straightforward um is there any under stairs storage so you can just put all the you know, just basically click on submit this now brings us on to the negotiations deal packaging section here you have all the important tips, 16 important tips to negotiate lower prices and a better property deal. So you have all the tips, everything that you need to do, right, all the steps, right, whether it's from provide proof of funds, demonstrate that you're serious and ready to buy, either cash or have a decision principle. So you must provide proof that you have the necessary deposit funds ready and available. And, and it also it gives you a tip here to consider stability. Right? Make clear and state your expectation if the offer is accepted. 
i.e. that you don't want any other viewings to take place and no other offers to be considered so you have all the steps right so that we finish with a letter to a co with a conf confident sign off include a personal message to the seller or the agent so you have every single step or most of the steps that you need to kind of be going through here once you've gone through those steps right then this is showing you how to package and structure a deal so basically when you're in when you're going to be presenting the deal to a uh, investor the investor is going to want to know what area what is the location right of the uh, property what is a property type is it residential commercial like right, industrial what right? but what is a market value how much is a property worth so they want to know that information as well how much are we able to purchase it for so depending on how much what right, whatever the price is like right, you know what is a discount amount then what is a discount percentage now sometimes the discount percentage but right, the discount amount may not be uh, may not sound as much especially where it's a property let's say for example you got a property for like um a hundred thousand pounds right and you're saying that you get it for eighty five thousand pounds right yeah, you know and so fifteen thousand pounds may not sound a lot but it's 15 percent discount so that's quite a reasonable discount. So you have your discount percentage, you have a discount amount here, your return on investment. So what is your return on investment? So we put on the return on investment in percentage here. What is the rental income that the property can receive? So that is also a good thing to know, right? Where investors be interested in this sort of information. So when they're doing their due diligence, they want to know all this so they can see, okay, this is how much rent I'll be getting. So what is going to be the rental yield? So this will be my rental yield based on based on like my investment etc as well you know this is the income i'm getting and this is the yield i'll be receiving right incentive potential so what has this property got the incentive potential to do right so you be putting that that information there what potential refurb costs are there if they are to be known so then again this information is very very important so this information which we're putting here you'll be able to see here so again this is the pot time it's residential the market really is this the purchase price is that but this kind of amount is that so this is very very important because this information is what is going to entice this is what's going to attract investors or other people to, um, to make inquiries or to request viewings so in so this is how we package it up this is what they're going to be looking at Right, um, before and they think, okay, yes, the figures stack up. So when they're doing their due diligence, when they're saying, okay, do these figures stack up? Does it make sense? So they can be going through this process. Then finally, in this section here, these are the, if you want to view your legal documents, right, all the uh, legal documents that you have signed up for, so you'll be able to view these here, just making sure that everything is fine. So as you can see, all the information that you need, you'll be able to store this in one section, but right? you know, it complies with like GDPR rules, but right? with confidentiality rules, you cannot, you, you know, you won't be losing anything. So everything there is in your space, it's in your space. So if you was to lose a piece of paper, whatever, you've got it there on your system, it's all logged in.